In this video, we are going to see how to calculate your GPA and CGPA. So, most of the students they don't know how to calculate their GPA and CGPA, right? So, GPA stands for grade point average and CGPA stands for cumulative grade point average, right? So, GPA uh, sometimes it is called SGPA and GPA will be calculated for only single semester, only one semester and cumulative grade point average it requires more than one semester data. For example, if you want to calculate it for uh, the second semester you need the first and second semester data, right? And GPA is also called SGPA or semester grade point average, right? So, we can calculate it for a single semester, right? So, every student must be knowing their GPA and CGPA calculations. And for example, we can take this data and for example, uh, for instance, the register number 001 has appeared for uh, the six subjects in the semester one, right? So, mathematics, physics, chemistry, English, engineering, graphics and fundamentals. Each subject will be having its own credits, right? The credits is based on the curriculum. It will be in your curriculum. So, if you want to cross check, you can check. In some universities, they have uh, made it in the mark sheet. And after completing their end semester examinations, the student has got it, got the grades, right? So, in Anna University, we are following these grades O, A plus A and B plus B, right? The numerical value for O is 10 and A plus is 9 and A is 8, B plus is 7 and B is 6. There is one more grade called RA, reappear, where the student gets 0, 0 grades. That means the student has a backlog or they are failed. Right, we are not mentioning the word fail, so we used to call it arrear or reappear. Right, after completing their in semester examination, the student has got some grades. Right, for mathematics, for instance, she got A plus, and for physics, she got uh, B plus. In chemistry, it is A, and in English, it is O, and engineering graphics, it is B plus, and for computer fundamentals, it is B. Right, so as you can see, each grade has its numerical value grade points, right? So, you can get it from uh, the table I have written. So, for A it is 9 and B plus it is 7 and A it is 8 and O it is 10 and for B plus it is 7 again and for B it is 6, right? And every mark sheet will be having its credits, title of the subject, credits, grades, grade points and the result. So, the student has not received RA. That means the student has passed in the semester one. So, she has registered some credits for the first semester and she has got all the credits she has registered for, right? So, it is time to calculate the SGPA for the semester one. So, how to calculate your SGPA? All you have to do is to multiply the credits with the grade points you have received, right? So, 9 cross 4 is nothing but 36, right? 3 cross 7 is nothing but 29. So, credits has to be multiplied with the grade points, right? So, 3 cross 7 is 21 and 3 cross 8 is 24 plus 3 cross 10 is 30 and 3 cross 7 is 21 and 3 cross 6 is 18. So, whole divided by the credits received or credits earned by the student, particular student, right? So, the credits earned by the student. So, the student has registered for six subjects and each subject will be having its own credits. If you add all those credits, it will be coming around 19, 1, 9, right? So, 19 credits has been registered and all the 19 credits are, has been received by the student, right? So, if you are failing, you won't get the, uh, you know, the credit for the subject you have failed. So, this is the formula we are using. Credit multiplied by the grade point, right? Grade points divided by the total number of credits received or the total number of credits earned by the student, right? So, this is for the subject 1, right? Plus credit allotted for the subject multiplied by the grade point received by the student GP2, right? So, that goes up to the last subject, 
right they have six subjects and goes up to the six subject this is the formula the grade points differ from university to university for anna university it is this is the, this is the format for the anna university so if you add all the numerators you will be getting 150 when 150 is divided by 19 you can get uh, i think it is around uh, 7.85894 right so this is the semester grade point average or the gpa for the first semester gpa or sgpa both are same right so please make a note of this 150 divided by 19 so that is very important so this is the gpa for semester one for the register number 001 right similarly we have to calculate for this so this is for the second semester for the same student right she has registered for six subjects just like she did for the first semester and credits is being allotted and we have to calculate the sgpa for the semester two right and semester two right so after appearing for the end semester examinations she got some grades that we are putting it randomly and we can put any grade we want except RA. we are not uh, choosing RA right now and uh, i'll just go back and show you uh, the grade points table so this is the grade points table we are using right so we can fill it up uh, in the grade points column right for a it is eight right and for A plus it is 9 and for O it is 10, for B plus it is 7 and B it is 6 and for again O it is 10, right. And the result is pass, right. The SGPA for or GPA both are same for the semester 2, right. And that is equal to 4 cross 38 plus 3 cross 9, that is 27 and 10 cross 3 is 30 and 7 cross 3 is 21 and 4 cross 6 is 26 I mean sorry 24 and plus 3 cross 10 is 30 that right? so this thing is whole divided by the number of credits earned by the student right so number of credits earned by the student for how many subjects she got passed she got passed for all the subjects so she will get be getting all the credits so if you add all the credits you will be getting 20 right so if you add the denominator it will be 144 that is divided by 20 that will give you 7.2 right so i think it's 7.2 uh, yeah 7.2 right this is the sgpa for the second semester or the gpa for the second semester semester number two right so we have two gpas one for the first semester and one for the second semester right now it's time to calculate i'll just change the color of the pen please wait um, now it's time to calculate the cgpa for this particular student the cgpa it goes like this cgpa for semester two yeah for two semesters right she has completed two semesters and we have to find the cgpa right for semester one and using semester one and semester two data i'm just darkening the semester two right so what we have here is these datas 7.2 so where did you get 7.2 you got it from 144 by 20 right so 145 by 20 just keep it in mind this is very important data and similarly in the first semester you got 150 by 19 right so that is how you got 7.894 for the first semester now coming back this 144 by 20 and the cgpa is equal to from semester 1 we got 150 right and for semester 2 we got the numerator 144 right 150 by 19 so this is 19 plus 20 right so what we have to do you have to add uh, the numerators and denominators so it is 294 294 divided by 39 so 294 divided by 39 gives you 7.583 right so this is your cgpa for the semester one and two this is how you calculate your cgpa right so uh, please don't uh, add both GPAs and take average, 
right so all you have to do is to look out for this 144 by 20 and 155 150 by 19 from the first semester right you have to add both the numerators and both denominators the denominators are different so don't worry about it because this is a statistical formula we have to add the numerators and denominators and take an average so 294 by 39 the 39 gives you the total number of credits you have earned so far total number of credits right if you got a backlog the total number of credits will be lower if you got all pass right in all semesters you will be reaching the maximum number of credits that is attainable right so 294 is nothing but the result of your end semester examination performance it is based on the grade points right the grades obtained if you got O in mo mo most of the subjects, right, you will be getting around 390, right. So, if you divide the grades obtained divided by total number of grades earned, you will be getting your CGPA, right. This is the trick and uh, this is the procedure actually, right. So, if you want to calculate your CGPA for, uh, uh, for example, if you are a final year student, right, you want to calculate a CGPA for all these semesters, you have to get the details of the semester 1, semester 2, semester 3, up to semester 8, right. The details required are your credits and your grades obtained and your grade points, right. So, the 150 by 19 and 145 by 20. So, these data has to be uh, made very clear and all the numerators has to be added and all the denominators has to be added. So, if you have any doubts, please put it in the comment section or if you want to write something to my, to me personally or if you have any doubts regarding your CGPA or SGPA calculations or if you have any doubts in calculating your um, marks using lead degrading system, you can write to my email ID which I have written uh, previously. This grading system and grade point system is from Anna University, it differs from university to university. The Indian universities and the foreign universities, they have different grading systems. Uh, Indian universities, they uh, measure it in a scale of 10. Right. So, the foreign universities, they measure it in the scale of 5. So, uh, please be noted, this is for Indian universities and thanks for watching.